Um, not bad, but like I said, it's one of those experimental things. Let me bring the camera over and look at uh, two dishes so you can have some idea what they look like. Okay, here's the uh, stroganoff mix. And it looked like a white powder, but once I started cooking it, these brown, spicy, beefy things started showing up. And I didn't even know they were in there, but you can see that it's, it's thick. And here's the TVB P and the spaghetti uh, cooking. I'll check those and make sure those are done. And then we'll mix the two together and see what kind of a concoction we have come up with. Now I boiled the water using uh, this Elite. And I got this out of my, I'm a, I have a machine toolbox, a lot of stuff in the bottom. And uh, I took it out of the box, grabbed it, came down here and started uh, cooking with it. And I know now why it was in the box. It was in there just to go for by dimensions in case I lost my dimensions. It actually had a leak in the bottom of it. It's one of the real early ones. So uh, it started leaking. I, luckily I had a black spot underneath it. But I think last time I used it, it also leaked. So uh, yeah, this one is gone. We'll just uh, put it out of its misery and won't use that one again. Uh, <laughs> wow, this... Uh, Beef stroganoff sauce is really thickening up, but I gotta check this uh, TVP and spaghetti and see how it's coming. I think it's there. So, whew, starting to rain. So I'm gonna drain off any excess water from this. You know, actually, as thick as this sauce is, and no more water than there is in there, uh, I think I'm just going to pour it in, because this sauce is really thick. And there's a lot of it, probably more than I actually needed to begin with, but... Hey. First, first try, you wouldn't expect everything to be perfect, especially ratios. Now, <laughs> if this turns out right... <laughs> This is a whole, whole bunch to eat. I mean, I've got a 40 ounce pot I'm stirring this into, and it's got to be like 30 ounces of, of, and it's heavy, of just food. Beef stroganoffish stuff. <laughs> this is one of those, uh, I got a bad feeling about this, you know, because I, I really have no input on this whatsoever other than just the idea itself. So, uh, let me show you what this looks like all mixed together and then we'll do the ultimate test. We'll try it. Okay, there's the pan the sauce was in and here's the finished product which you can see is fairly thick and uh, you can see that there's a lot of it. I, I couldn't even begin to eat all that. Some people could, I couldn't, and this may not be fit for a dog to eat anyway, but we'll find out here in a second. Okay, I almost ran out of alcohol on this. I, I uh, need to pick some more up. It's on my shopping list, and I think probably Monday I'll pick some up. And uh, we'll keep right on going with the cooking videos, but you can't do much cooking without any fuel. And, since heats the fuel, there you go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's hot. That's not bad, considering uh, it's TVP, not beef, 
and there isn't a bunch of sour cream in it. But just what it is, it's really not bad at all. Um, fully edible. Uh, really not that bad. Uh, I think what it needs, just to finish it off, is maybe a little Parmesan. Uh, a little bit of that in another bag and just sprinkle it in, stir it in, and I think it would be even better. But I'm going to give this the same as I gave uh, the last one. I'm going to give this a six. Fully edible. Uh, very easy to make. So uh, there you have it. I'm Kenny from Mini Bull Design. Try to have a really great day and try to have some fun today. You deserve it. Bye-bye.